Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Arctic, and today we are going to be getting ourselves a saw set up today, number one, and also going to the nether and kind of exploring a little bit. I hope you guys are ready. All right, guys, so I think today is going to be the big day where we have to go, that's right, to the nether. We have to go to the nether, guys. It's going to be a little bit difficult, but with the, uh, the, the little bit of armor that we have on, I think we can possibly manage... I don't know. We'll figure it out. I would love it. How cool would it be if we spawn near a fortress? That would be awesome. I, I really don't think that's going to be the case because that never happens unless it's on my server, which uh, recently just happened, which I thought was kind of funny. Uh, but anyways, yeah. let's go ahead and we're going to try this out. We're going to try and go there. We do have a, a couple of speed potions. Um, Insta health potions would be really nice in this case. Um, you never know, you know, whenever you're starting to die and these uh, instant health potions might actually help. Um, this is the advanced. Uh, don't we have the weaker ones? Yeah, this right here. Which is just raw beef and chamomile. Uh, which we should be able to get our hands on some of that raw beef. Just by, you know, taking out a couple cows. Nothing too major here. And uh, we'll grab some of that uh, chamomile, which uh, somebody mentioned uh, said is used for something calming babies, I think. Something like that. I don't know. Kind of interesting. Um, I always heard of it uh, used for tea or something like that. All right. So let's go ahead and throw this in here. As you can see, it doesn't use too much water. Um, we've only made a few potions and it doesn't use that much water, so... Refilling the water is not a, a big deal. And right, we'll take some of this, the mini coal. Gotta use mini coal. If you don't use mini coal, you're wasting fuel, right? Right. All right, so. Yeah, this should produce and get us a couple more potions, which will be awesome. Of course, we need to keep flint and steel on us before we leave. And we also have some more leather, which means we can also make some more tan leather. The more tan leather we have, the better off we're going to be. And that's why you need to gather some cows early on. Otherwise, you're going to be uh, kind of left in the dust. Yeah, Insta Health is awesome. So yeah, we have a couple potions now, and uh, more should be made as we uh, are, as we leave. Um, let's let's find somewhere to throw. I don't know where to put sugar actually. I'm guessing um, you know like we can probably throw it. I'm going to call this a potion chest, and we're going to have this setting in here for potions. That should work. Uh, we're also going to throw the leather in here, and we do have some oak here. And I should be able to split this up into eights. And we need to throw eight, eight, eight. 24 in total. And that will give us, that will start uh, the bark process. Because I'm pretty sure to tan this, you need, uh, let's see. It is done inside this cauldron. But it's not showing, uh oh, it's because it's this right here. Oh, yeah. We can't get that to work because we have to score it. Oh man, I forgot about the scoring part. There we go. So it'll, it'll be scored before we uh, come back. So we shouldn't have to wait too long. But anyways, all we have to do is throw that in there because it does require eight. And there we go, 24, that'd be just fine. Um, also, those flowers, by the way, that are everywhere, like the, the plants that are all over the place that you see, like these plants, um, you can punch them, but they just kind of go away. If you want to collect them, you have to use shears, much like all the tall plants. Um, in the world and such you get uh, the dice from those so just uh, just keep that in mind that's what you need to do um, in the future I think I may incorporate all of the dyes that these plants make into the millstone that will be kind of a big project uh, it takes a little bit of time to do those recipe changes um, but I think that would honestly be a better way of going about getting dye is requiring you to at least have a mill at that point um, giving more uses to the mill all right so, there's our extra potions. We should be good. There's no other potions I do believe that that thing can make. Uh, let's do rustic and we'll see. But I don't think there's any other potions that this thing can make that will help us out. We have regeneration potions, which, I mean, we could honestly use those, but I don't think we're going to need it too much. Night vision is not going to be an issue for us. Speed is definitely nice and the health potion. So, yeah, all the potions we need, we have... And we should be good. Now, we did have another portal that was up here in this direction. 
So we're going to need some kind of way to get there. So that portal is going to be our way into the nether. And we did like that portal last episode, so things should be flowing fairly nice. And we should be able to hop right in into the scary nether. Ooh, this is nice. Cambridge. Blue. Cambridge blue. Yeah, we should be able to uh, to explore a little bit of the... I mean, we don't need to do too much there. But, I mean, if we can find the fortress, that would be awesome. But, honestly, fortress is not going to be a necessity um, at this point. Because I'm pretty sure Blaze, they spawn even without being in there. Oh, I, for, I totally forgot about that flower. Oh, wow. Man, they really do fling you. That is a thing. All right, so... Here's our portal. We do have a few blocks here, so I mean, I, we don't have any, uh, you know, other than the slabs and stuff, nether brick wise. But uh, we could always turn, I think, uh, nether rack into nether brick. I think that's a vanilla recipe. Yeah, this nether sludge, which you need hellfire dust and potash, and you get potash from uh, wood, cooking wood inside of a, a stoked cauldron, which we'll figure all that out soon enough. But let's go ahead and hop in. Oh boy, guys. All right. So, here we are in the scary, scary hell world. As you can see, we did complete the quest by coming here. This is a very dark and dangerous place, by the way. The noise? Oh, it's so ominous and scary. I will take uh, a bunch of this soul sand because we probably will use it later on for something. I'm almost positive. Wow, look how scary that looks. We do have some creatures down there. It's almost like the light hasn't been updated. The fire is not given off. Oh man, that is super scary sounding. There's some quartz. There we go. We can get ourselves some quartz there. Um, I do want to go back up here. You know what I should have done? I should have made a map. <laughs> I should have made a map. Because uh, we're going to have to remember, remember where our portal's at. Oh boy. There we go. At least our sword gives off some kind of light, as weird as that may sound. Something that Optifine probably does. Um, I have looked at turning those options off. Doesn't seem to matter. Alright, we got his attention. Oh no, four hits. Nothing. We got nothing from that. Ooh, we're in the fungal forest. I do believe. I want to stay away from that. And there's some slime down here. There's some lava. See, that fire is lighting up, but this fire must be different. This is a different kind of fire. Strange. Take a bit of that quartz. Ooh, we have some iron here. I did notice we have some emerald ore. They just kind of spawned here, but as you can see, we don't have a pick high enough level to mine that. We do need uh, a diamond level pick and above. So, that is something we can't do. There's some lapis, though. Take that. Now, this all comes in block form, and I do need some netherrack. I need a bunch of netherrack. That's mainly why I'm here at this point, is just to get a bit of netherrack. Ooh, we have some... Is that redstone? I think so. All right, so let's go ahead. I am getting hungry. Let's eat some food. Oh, look at that. Wham. I like that they light on, they're glowing. Did they get any magma cream? No magma cream. I do see a blaze. There's a blaze glowing in the distance. Oh, and there's some blaze down here. Oh, man. How are we going to get down here? That is the question. Um, we could scale the wall? 
Or is there a way over here? Oh man, I think possibly the best way is just to scale this wall. We need the uh, we need the the materials anyways, so might as well go down here. Thought I seen that slime making his way closer to me. Is it? Where is that thing? Where is that slime? Must have must must have made it to the ground or something. Make our way this way, though. We're almost there. This will be perfect. We need we need blaze. Anyways, at least one blaze rod would be uh, uh, the most efficient or most most optical or op optical. <laughs> wow. Let's see. I did well. They were down here. I guess they they despawn or despawned. Let's see. All right. Come at me, bro. Alright, there we go. So I got some magma cream that way. Man, they turn into so many. So many. Alright, alright guys. Alright, there we go. Alright, so we got some magma cream. That took a little bit. Alright, we have some more wither. Ow. Oh, that was not good. We got some we got the wither effect on us. Let's let's try them again. This time, we'll try not to get killed. Oh, there's a blaze. There's a blaze, guys. There's a blaze. Where's that? Where's the blaze coming from? That's what I want to know. Oh, no. There we go. I got him. I got him. I got him. I got him. Right there. Bam. All right. So he... <laughs> they're gone. They're gone. Where's that blaze? I want to find that blaze. Where are you at, blaze? I'm looking for you. I don't see you. Doesn't mean I don't want to find you. Does this take us anywhere? I'm kind of also scared of losing my position. Oh, there's some diamond. Yeah, yeah, you need a higher level pick. Oh, there he is. There's that. There's that little devil. Let's get him. Let's get him. Man, you're so bright. Ow. Oh, boy. We brought them out of the woodworks. Nope, 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 nope. Yep, let's get down here. Let's let's figure something out. Haha, -ha, tricked ya. Alright, he's back on the ground. Let's see if we can get him. Ow. I'm only after you, fella. Oh man, nothing. Nothing from that blaze. Nothing but but pain. All right, we're going to we're going to try and get a blaze for sure. Oh man, I really took a hit there, didn't I? Yeah, that's the problem. Getting hurt is really dangerous here. All right, I, I see a blaze. It just spawned. How do we come into this area over here. That's right. Over in this way. We'll have to get him. One way or another. I thought I seen a blaze spawn over here. Ah, I did. I'm sorry, Blaze, but you are now going to be mine. If I can kill you. Yep, yeah, you're too far away, man. Too far away. What am I what am I supposed to do? There you go, drop down. Thank you. Thank you. Ow. 
I wish I had a bow. That would be really nice. A bow would be very handy right now. Ow. Of course, I take damage right at that time. He is about to shoot. A couple more hits, right? All right, come on. Come at me. <laughs> dodged him. I dodged all of those. Awesome. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. What? Where did that even come from? What? We have a ghast after us at this point. Oh, no. Did my bag fall in the fire? I did want that bag that... Oh, there it is. Okay, so we need a loot bag. Fat loot. Food bag. Nice. Alright, guest. You want to play some games? Where are you at? Alright. Maybe not. Maybe it doesn't want to play games. I don't see it anymore. We need glowstone. Um, and luckily there were some just literally right next to us. I can't believe I forgot this. Alright, I did find another blaze. This time, he can't go anywhere. Oh, I gotta be careful around the zombie, zombie pigmen. No! I really messed up, didn't I? Ah, oh, I got it. I got a blaze rod. We gotta go. We gotta get out of here. We're done. We gotta go. Guys, we gotta go. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're, we're totally wrecked. Where's our, where's our way up? Oh, no, 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 no. Let's go. Are you, are you? Oh, man, this is bad. This is real bad. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. We have an army behind us. Guys, we have a literal army behind us. Whew. Okay. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get out. I think we have just about everything we need. Whew. Oh, boy. So, if that wasn't good enough, we, it is nighttime. <laughs> it's nighttime here, and we're dying. We're hungry. So hungry. Guys, it was- oh, man. How are we gonna do this? I think this way is our- our base. I already hear the skeletons. Oh, man. And if you thought- You thought the nether was bad. What is this? A snapdragon. Interesting. Anyways, oh, it looks like it's, it's becoming daytime, though. Oh, which is kind of nice, because, yeah. Oh, no, 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 not you skeletons. No, 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 leave me alone. Ow. Nope, 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 nope. There we go, we'll get a little bit of a speed boost and get our way back home. Wow, man. Whew, that was a close one. That was very close. All right, so let's go ahead and get things organized and set back up. now. I would prefer to have another chest. Uh, another chest, or actually we could probably just make a container. If we do this, we can actually make a cabinet from Rustic. And a cabinet is kind of cool. It opens up and has like an, an inventory, kind of here. And what we can do is we can throw our nether related materials in here. Why not? It, it works very well <laughs> for what it does. Um, and yeah, you can even store your items and stuff in, inside of it. It is a little bit smaller, though, than your normal chest, single chest, I do believe. Uh, I guess it's the exact same size as a single chest. But anyways, this is the this is the cabinet recipe, and uh, you should be able to get one of those. Um, fairly easy early game as well. But uh, let's go ahead and open our food bag. What did we get from that? Oh, we got a cookie. And we got a melon. Oh, we just got melon seeds, guys. We just got melon seeds. This is going to be helpful for potions later on. So, uh... We need to figure out where to put this. And I'm going to put it right there. Nice! You know, that's from... <laughs> we're just now getting a seedy place because we uh, didn't get that uh, achievement. Uh, because of the, uh, the world needing to be reset. But anyways, let's go ahead and pop into here. And get our stuff set back and organized as it needs to be. And yeah, we have a bunch of stuff. Blaze Rod, specifically, is one of those really nice things. So we can grind that up. 
And let's go ahead and do that. Let's throw that in here. And yeah, it does make the noise corresponding to what is in here. It's just, the millstone is, is a really funny uh, thing. I, I really do like the millstone. And yeah, it should have popped there, and there we go. We have everything we need. Perfect. And uh, of course, we'll go ahead and throw that there. But what do we do with this? And how do we progress, uh, you know, farther? Let's take a look. So, quests. And we go into better with mods. So we did complete this. Let's go ahead and get our food bags. And uh, all of this has been complete. Let's move on to the second side. So we're working on tan leather, uh, gearboxes and stuff like that. Technically, we can do that all in the first stage, uh, but we're going to have to make more anyway. So we're going to auto complete these as we go to make a saw. Um, a saw is going to become our best friend, and we need to work on that now. Um, getting a saw, we're going to need some tan leather. And getting a saw is going to allow us to do a bunch of very interesting things. Uh, let's open up these food bags. All right, man, we got a bunch of food this time. It is a bunch of random food, but it is food nonetheless. Bam, let's go ahead and grab all of that. Perfect. Okay, so hemp. Where's my hemp? It's down here. There we go. So yeah, uh, making that that mill. Let's go ahead and get, get working on that. We're gonna gear boxes. Gear boxes are gonna be pretty easy. We're gonna need some... Uh, some gold and some latches. I might as well make a few latches while I'm here. Since it's going to take, you know, we're going to need a little bit of them. And uh, we're going to need some hemp fiber. We're going to turn all of that into rope. There's the rope. And the gearbox itself is going to require gears. Now, it's going to be a little bit easier on us later on once we get a gear, uh, once we get the saw made. Because we can actually make gears using the uh, the corners which will work out perfect. So, let's go ahead and get started on this. We're gonna need a couple of gears. I, I'm pretty sure I have a few gears here, and that should give us enough to make some more gear boxes, along with some more wood. A lot of wood. That is just uh, the, the, the way it goes. Awesome, so we got that, and we're gonna need a few axles as well. I'm gonna make as many as I can make you can never have too many axles. That's just not a thing. All right, and the uh, the saw itself, the saw. How do we go about making the saw? Well, I know one thing. We need the tan leather out of here, and bam, now we have tan leather, and that is all completed. But making the saw is going to require some of that tan leather in certain forms. So let's see this. So we need a leather belt. The leather belt is uh, comes from leather straps, which comes from cut leather which comes from tan leather. So let's kind of take a look at here. So all you need really is just one of these pieces, cut down and get four. And look how much extra we have left over. And this will make a leather belt. That's super simple, super simple. And you get quite a bit from it. So let's take our leather belt and we're gonna use this to make the saw. And the saw is gonna require a few more gears and some iron. Few more gears and iron. Um, the gears we're gonna need a few more sticks because we still have to make we have to make some more of these wooden gears for right now. And there we go. And we should be able to make the saw. Awesome. So our saw, uh, we can throw that over here, or we can set up another windmill. I don't know if we have enough hemp for a windmill. I do want to probably throw this hemp in here. It's going to be grinding, making grinding noises anyways. Um, but what we can actually do is extend one of these gearboxes, if that's what we want. So like uh, the gearbox over here, we can place this in a different direction, or what would probably work a little bit better is to mine down here. Since we already have gearboxes that are going underneath, let's go ahead and uh, we'll extend this gearbox down here. So what we can do is we'll take an axle, hook to that, and if we want this to go dr straight up, which, I mean, we do, we will take another gearbox, and of course, you have to, uh, you have to turn this until you see smoke coming from it, like that, and we'll pull that up, and I'll go one more, and then we can make our saw flat. Not like that. I like that, even though this does work this way. 
you need it going like straight down like that and that'll work per just perfect and uh, we'll go ahead and throw this down so now we have our mill and our saw now the saw if uh, we don't catch everything will flow and of course go into the chest but uh, it's a pretty interesting thing and I'll show you that after morning are you guys ready are you guys ready to cut some wood to chop wood I guess it would be sawing wood yeah are you guys ready to saw some wood I know you are you wouldn't be watching this if you would if you didn't want to uh, saw some wood so let's go ahead and do that so uh, we can actually start from the base if we want to and we'll just start directly from oak wood and uh, let's kind of get a clean inventory here that way we can kind of see this a little bit better in action on what exactly this thing does um, let's take all of that our all of our tools we don't really need um, we got the stone axes or the stone axe from uh, killing the wither the wither skeletons there we go actually they don't go in there all of my chests are kind of all jacked up at this point there we go that's good enough anyways um, so yeah you just take the, the your normal wood now and you can throw it on here collect it and you get six planks of wood now six planks so you should be pretty good with uh, with your wood production at this point um, you also get some sawdust and you get so you get four bark um, and sawdust uh, has a few uses you can use it to make dynamite along with some uh, some oil which uh, of course you guys get that stuff later on uh, with that special tallow and stuff like that so yeah, you can just saw this all down. If you stand right next to it, it works a little bit better. But it is a pretty loud machine. I mean, uh, just keep that in mind. Now, what you can do here is take a piece of wood, chop that down, and you get a piece of siding. You can chop that down, and you get yourself uh, the plank molding. Take it down again. You get corners. One more time. And you get gears. So yeah, pretty useful for gear production. If you guys want to make a bunch of gears, um, it's very efficient to make gears this way. Um, not only that, some of these blocks are very cool. Um, I don't know if you can see this very well, but say right here, yeah, you can see it a little bit better here. Um, as I place this down, it depends on what corner I'm looking at. If I put it in this corner, it's going to go vertically. If I do here, it's going to go horizontally. And it's the same for all around. So if I wanted to place this here, I can very cool very cool um and then same with this you can't place these in the same chunk or the same block space but you can place them uh next to each other and stuff like that in adjacent uh blocks same with the corner pieces you can place them all all around and like that so you can probably make yourself some pretty neat furniture and stuff like that if you wanted to using these blocks um, and later on we'll be able to do that with uh, more than just wood so yeah pretty interesting all right so i was able to claim that quest which uh, kind of pushes us a little bit farther uh it gets us through the uh, the wood tier age um which is continuous mechanical power which is really cool like I'll, I, gotta, I gotta say better with mods is a really cool mod and it's going to move us on to the age of wood tier 3 automation and basic alchemy which we're going to get into very soon but i did get six potion bags as a quest reward Let's go ahead and open that. Oh, we got a jar of heart. These jars of heart, by the way, if you don't know what they are, what they do, if uh, say you take some damage and you don't have, you know, any means of uh, regenerating regenerating your health, they're kind of insta health potions. They give you uh, another health bar, a full heart of health. Also, when you kill mobs, they do tend to drop hearts as well. So whenever you pick up those uh, those hearts that are on the ground, that also works that way. But we got fire resistance for three minutes. That's not bad. That's a really good early game potion. Considering the fact that we don't have a brewing stand yet, and strength, and we have another strength potion, the splash potion, potion of strength is really nice. Um, all of these are pretty nice, except for these two that we got there. So yeah, so far I think we're doing pretty good. Um, now that we have these potions, I think there's a stand. Let's take a look at uh, Bibliocraft. Bibliocraft has a framed potion shelf. Which I think would go great with what we have. Um, what is it? What all does it take for the potion shelf? We need frame. Okay, so we just need a piece of wood and one of our saws. And I think we have enough for the framed potion shelf. 
Nice. And we put that up here or something uh, above the candle. Like, we can put it anywhere, really. Um, but we do need to decorate it. And I don't remember where my... Uh, I'm, I'm sure I probably didn't even... I didn't give it back to myself. Um, let's look at that. Uh, we can go ahead and make the oak furniture again. No big deal. We do have a saw, so... The saw is very helpful. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. And voila. Alright, let's get our furniture. Place that here. So as we do we do quite a bit of this, actually. Um, we can turn this into that. I think I'm going to go with stone, just like the rest of our build. Except this time I'm going to go with mossy. Go with a mossy stone brick look. Hmm. I don't like it there, but I will I will place it somewhere. It says axe. Oh, it's because it's wood. That's right. There I am thinking it's stone. Um, yeah, we can place it. Uh, I'm gonna go with it right above the cauldron. Right above the cauldron for right now. Anyways, we can we should be able to place all of our potions in there. Regardless of what they are. And as you can see, they show up. And boy, do they look cool. They look really cool sitting there. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, yeah, I may I may actually move this. I'm going to move this somewhere else along with this. Can probably be moved as well. Um, I think this could probably go in the center here. Above the candle. And then we'll get our shelf went somewhere. Oh, it went in here. I didn't know you could throw items directly in there. The more you know. The more you know. Apparently you can show you can throw the items directly into the top of the cauldron. It works like a hopper. Interesting. So yeah, that should be pretty good. And uh, of course all the nether all the nether stuff can go in, in here as well. And there we go. Perfect, guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video a thumbs up, man. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome, and thanks for watching. Go.